Welcome back to PGCast, a production of HashRocket. I'm Jake Wirth. In this episode, we'll be looking at a new feature in Postgres 9.6, Parallel Queries. Parallel queries provide parallel execution of sequential scans, joins, and aggregates. To see this feature in action, let's set up a test database. And to make the performance gains obvious, we'll need a lot of data. I made a financial ledger with 50 million random dollar amounts and dates going back 10 years. The setup is included at the bottom of the transcript. Next, we'll write a read-only query that uses a sequential scan. The aggregate functions are great candidates for this. We'll use sum to add up the amounts in our ledger and tack on explain analyze for benchmarking and explanation. Reading through the output, we can see that Postgres has chosen to run this query sequentially. Great, just what we need. Parallel queries are not enabled by default. To turn them on, we need to increase a config param called max parallel workers per gather. So let's see the default value. Let's raise this value to four, which happens to be the number of cores on this workstation. Explaining the query again, we can see that Postgres is now choosing a parallel query. And it's about four times faster. To sum up, for sequential scans on Postgres 9.6, turn on this feature and enjoy the speed boost. As I mentioned before, only sequential scans can be parallelized. So let's create a scenario where this feature is unavailable by adding an index to the table. The index column changes things, as we shall see. With the index column in the query, we don't get to use parallelism. To enable this feature permanently, add the parameter to your Postgres config file. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching.